Controversial construction union boss John Setka has been removed from the Labour Party after dropping his legal challenge against the attempt to have his membership revoked. Labour leader Anthony Albanese had wanted the Victorian CFMEU secretary kicked out after a series of scandals. State's political reporter Richard Willingham joins us now from Melbourne. Afternoon to you. Um, take us through what's happened this afternoon. Was it expected? Well, this, this has been a long time in the making, Lorna. Five months ago, Anthony Albanese first moved to have John Setka removed. Over comments, he uh, reported comments that he denigrated anti-violence campaigner Rosie Batty. Now, that's something John Setka denied comments ever making. And since then, he's since been through the magistrate's court here, where he pleaded guilty to breaching a court order, as well as harassing he, a woman, which is his wife, Emma Walters, via a phone, phone messages. Now, this, he's, he's always denied that he should be kicked out of the Labor Party. He said he's there as a member and that expelling him was with outside the rules of the party. Now, he took that to court and the court, the Supreme Court of Victoria, sort of made a halfway decision and he, he continued to, to fight this through the courts. But this afternoon at 12.45, Mr Setka did resign from the party. On, he was facing another motion from the National Executive of the ALP to have him removed. So he, he has resigned is the, is the formal way. But as you point out, that Anthony Albanese has been trying to remove him from the party, and not just because of the Rosie Batty comments, but also reported comments, but also because of his long history of quite strong, violent, um, foul language, and some of the campaigns he's, he's mounted as a trade unionist of the construction union here in Victoria. Here's what Mr Albanese had to say just before question time this afternoon. I thought over a long period of time, through his actions, he demonstrated values that were not consistent with the values which the Australian Labor Party holds dear. One of those values is respect for women. The fact that he's been convicted of breaching a family violence order and the fact that he was also convicted and pleaded guilty to harassment uh, indicates that that's the case. So John Secker had said he would fight this all, all the way. What reason has he given today for withdrawing that? Well, he hasn't spoken publicly, but he, he's put out a very long and strongly worded statement, basically saying that he's resigning because he can no longer be a member of the party under Anthony Albanese's leadership. He says from a policy direction that the party is take, going down the wrong direction. It's supporting too much of the government's um, policy agenda, particularly on issues like free trade. And other unions, other union leaders have also expressed this dissatisfaction that the, the workers are, are losing out under these free trade deals. He also continued in his statement to say these were false allegations made against him as part of some sort of political payback over basically donations to the ALP. It's a very strong statement. It's online. And it, it, he's, he's basically saying... I don't believe in the Labor Party under Anthony Albanese anymore and he can no longer be a part of it. So he's going out sort of swinging, if you like. Uh, he's not happy. OK, Richard William, thank you.